Hey guys, it's Jen here and Malia. Hi. And we're here to show you something fun. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, uh, you may have seen my obsession with diamond paintings. I love these things. If you haven't heard of them before, let me just, I'm just going to get right in here and show you what they are. Um, I'll show you this one first. So this, these diamond paintings are from PeggyBuy.com and they sent these to me, uh, but I have long been a fan of doing these diamond paintings. It's so relaxing and so fun. So have I. Yeah, and Malia too. That's why I have her here with me. Um, there's something just so satisfying about it. So basically what you get is a picture and it has all of these... It's sticky. Yeah. It has all these little uh, number, or, yeah, numbers and letters on it that correspond to different colors of little tiny jewels. And this is how it comes. So you're different colors come wrapped up inside of this jewel thing and then tell them what that is Mel. So um, this is gonna show them. This is the tool. This pink thing is the tool that you use to pick it up and put it on there so that you could get it like really good. And this is like if you want to like dump them out on this and like yeah, the then little you can yeah, find it. Mm -hmm. And then the wax like you put it on the pink tool. We'll show you in just a second exactly how to do it. We'll open one of these up and show you. But um, basically, so there are a couple of different kinds of diamond paintings. Um, you're going to hear a couple of terms thrown around. Um, there's round drill, or there's round, and then there's square drilled, uh, which means that the diamonds themselves are either round or square. So these ones are round. As far as I can tell, PeggyBuy.com has all round diamonds, which I actually think that the round diamonds are way easier to put on the square ones. You have to make sure they're turned a certain way, but with the round ones, you really don't. And um, so the other thing you're going to, you're going to see on there is if it's full drill or partial drill. Full drill means the entire paint painting, <laughs> the entire thing is you're going to fill it up with the little diamond dots partial drill I have a partial drill one here to Wait, show you so I will show you the difference oh, there, there. It is. It's right. mm -hmm. I've done a partial drill one before they're a lot quicker and but they don't take up the entire painting so you can see this one of the mountains um, I actually think I have it upside down yeah that's the reflection um, all of the mountains and the trees and stuff are are uh, the drill but the sky and the water are not drilled so that's just a different look and it takes a little less time I think these are really great for beginners or kids uh, they're really really awesome for that um, I think that this is a I've seen people like doing these together if you have a big one you guys can like you can work on it as a family and each do different sections um, but I really quickly want to show you how Let's go ahead and open this one that up one? and do it. Yeah. So each one of the paintings comes with this protective film over it. And basically when you peel it back, this part right here is sticky and that's how the gems are going to stick to it. Now the idea is you cover up the painting with the gems and then you can cut off the edges and frame it if you like. I personally don't care to frame mine I'm doing it for the process and they're so inexpensive that you can totally just buy it for the fun of it um, the ones on peggybuy.com are anywhere between four and ten dollars and there's different sizes so just make sure you look at the size when you're buying it so you know how big it is they come in centimeter sizes so this is 40 by 30 um, and then you can see let me show you the other ones really quick before we I'm gonna save this one for last actually um, this one is smaller so you can see there's uh, all different kinds of sizes and all different kinds of uh, projects so now you, this one is like kind of a messy painty kind of butterfly I thought this one was really cool um, so you just want to make sure that you keep your your diamonds with each other now if you buy diamonds from the same company if you buy them a lot of the it might even be across companies but a lot of the colors are the same so you can see on the package it says um, like 3609 or 3607 those numbers uh, coordinate across different um, companies or across different paintings quite often and I have found that what I like to do I have so many diamond paintings I keep my 
I keep my diamonds in these little plastic cases and I love these things. They are perfect for this kind of project and I just label them with my label maker and they have lots of fun colors on Peggy Bye. Each one of these cases comes with 28 little spots and each one, it, they're in rows of four. And so it's I have really, them too. yeah, Malia has them too. They're really easy to flip open. Um, well, now I'm not too easy because you don't want to fall out, but you can flip them open and then you can use your tool and pick them up straight from the, um, from the little. Yeah, but thing. you have to have the wax on, otherwise. Okay, Mel. Let's show them how to put the wax on, and then we'll show them how to actually pick them up and put them onto a painting. All right, so okay. we went ahead and put this um, partial drill painting. Just it's on my work surface. I just taped this down with some washi tape. So it's flat. Yeah, so it's flat, and because this one isn't a full drill, this doesn't have a ton. It'll take you longer than you think it will. But I, I think if you're gonna, if you're gonna keep it in one spot you could definitely washi tape it down to the surface if it's you know if it's a surface that doesn't mind washi tape but it doesn't bother me to have it a little bit rolled while I'm working with it not no big deal at all to me but we just decided to for this video to show you um, that we're going to do that so Mally's going to show you how you put the wax onto the little thing to pick up the jewels we've gone ahead and just uh, Dump dumped out the, the number one into the little tray so you can see this is what they look like in there. They're very sparkly and shiny. And there's little ridges in here that help separate the jewels out. So you can see at the front here, they're kind of lined up a little bit and that will help you just to pick them up. So Mel, why don't you show them how Kay. to put the wax on. So, so the wax here, comes... I'm gonna zoom in, so we'll do it right here and we'll zoom in. Okay. All right, go ahead. So the wax is kind of in like a little container. Container. It's not a container, it's just like well, got plastic on the outside yeah. of it. And if you take the plastic off. <clears throat> and if you take the plastic <laughs> off. She's a little quiet. Okay, do it on the flat surface here. Okay. And it's empty like that. I don't know if you can tell, but. Yeah, this has like a little hole. And you kind of scoop it up. You just. And push it in. Stick the wax in, yeah? Yeah. And then you kind of push it in. If you get too much, then you could take it off and put it back. Yeah, I just kind of like, me personally, I just take my finger on the top and just rub it off and see if any comes off on my finger. So there is a little bit, So, but then it should be good. And every once in a while, you'll just want to do that again if you find that it's not picking jewels up. But Mel, let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom out just a tiny bit so she can put some on where you can see. Okay. We're going to lift and the this paper. this is number one. Yeah, this is number one. So we're just going to look for all the number ones on the diamond painting. I'm just going to peel this back. Now, you could take this whole thing off, but if you're just working on it a little bit at a time, and if you're going to keep it out, then I would definitely recommend saving this so that you can put it back over so dust doesn't get on the stickiness. Okay. But go ahead and let's do, I'm going to zoom in just actually again a little bit just so we can see closely and just do a couple right here. Okay. Like right. Is this good right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you show them how you pick it up first of all. Let's show them how you pick up a jewel. So you want to make sure that the top of the diamond is facing up so that when you put it down it's good. Mm-hmm. So you grab the top of the little shape. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes your hands might stick to the thing. And then you're just going to place it down. Where it says one. Yeah. Now, I think when you're working with the, the jewels like this, just open and you're opening one package at a time, I think it's best to do all of one number. Yeah. And then move to the next one, don't you, Mel? Yeah, but sometimes what we do is we, like, pick a little area and do all the colors in that Yeah, area. so if, look, I'm going to zoom back out here. Oops. Now, I have a giant one of these that's, um, it's really large. It's taken me a long time to complete. I just do a little bit here and there. And in that case, I like to put my little dots in these little cases, um, and then these I can just... Squares. Yeah, these ones are squares, but, you know, you could put any of them in. And then I just uh, peel up a little section, and then I'll just do that whole section, all of the different colors. And because I have them in these little cases, it's easy to flip open and just pick a few out because you can grab them right from the case rather than dumping them out like this. But um, I definitely started 
with this way and it, it works just great and just fine. Um, so I would definitely recommend though getting if you're doing it this way to just do all of one color. So let me just I'll do I'll put it in a few as well. And so you just grab it. The wax holds it on there just enough and then put it down on the stickiness and that holds it to the page. And you're just going to keep going until you get the painting done. And it's just so fun and relaxing. Um, you could do this while you watch TV. We have little trays that yeah. we <laughs> like to stick these on top of that they're like lap trays that we got at Michael's for uh, just a few dollars. And um, those are nice to have to just keep this on and you can do it while you're watching TV or something. So um, these are super fun. We like them a lot. Uh, anything else you want to say about this, Mel? It's good for kids too. Yes, she absolutely loves it. And like I said, these particular this particular company is great for, uh, I think, kids and beginners because there are some smaller ones and partial drill paintings um, that are going to be really easy for them to take care of. So I am going to show you one last painting and it has a fun surprise. All right, so I have one more painting to show you. This one is a tree. You can see it's a little bit of a smaller painting. I think it's about eight by 10 is what it kind of looks like. Don't you think? You don't know sizes. Anyway, this what? is a full drill painting and it is, um, you can kind of see the picture here. It's to, it's a tree with the reflection on the water. You can kind of tell from this picture too. Um, this is a great small size to be able to easily stick, like I mentioned, like on a tray on your lap if you want to, or even on top of a large book you could work on. Uh, and it has 19 different colors and you can see they all come packaged. Each is individual, just like they are in the other ones. Um, and it comes with the little all of, each diamond painting comes with these these little uh, kits for you to have everything you need to put it together. And as I've gotten more and more, I've like put my wax in a little container because I've ha I have like a, a buildup of it, and I keep these extra ones on hand for other things. Anyway, um, this is one that the company sent me. They sent me an extra one so that I could give one away to a, a subscriber. So if you are interested in this or if you have kids who might be interested in this, it's just the most fun, relaxing. I think I need like I need to send one to my grandma. I think she would absolutely die Wait, over this. My grandma cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think she would love it? Yeah. Um, anyway, they're just so fun and relaxing and we love them. So I can't say it enough. Um, Check out pennydrill.com to look at all of their selection. They're very inexpensive, between 4 and $10. Shipping is free, um, and they get here pretty quick. So uh, I definitely recommend it. I'll leave a link in the video description. And the, um, let's see, what else was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah, look at the link in my profile. But if you want to win one, uh, I will leave this open to local and international, or U.S. and international uh subscribers you just need to subscribe to me and then tell me uh in the in the comments below tell me who you would love to get this for is it for you would your kids love it who who do you know that would love something like this is this like for some people i think this maybe is a tedious project i love stuff like that so this Thank is you. right up my alley yeah malia too we just love stuff where you have to like the um etching like the we do the um color etching. I'll show you that in another video maybe, but, and the diamond drills, we've just been kind of obsessed with them. So if you want to win this, leave a comment below telling me who would love this that you know, and I will pick a winner on, let's see, you know what? I'm going to pick a winner on my birthday, October 4th, which is Thursday. And today is Saturday, right? Yes. Yes. So you have until Thursday, uh, to enter this contest and then I will pick a winner again international people feel free to um, apply to uh, be a winner and in the meantime head over to peggyby.com and check out all of the diamond uh, drill pictures that they have again they're super cheap there's Great. lots of different lots varieties. of yeah there's lots of variety me and Mally looked at all of them and there were tons that we wanted huh Mel yeah so uh, super fun I definitely recommend it and I hope that you'll check it out Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.